Good evening, I'm Natalie Fonts. And I'm Jean Jadhan. Thank you for joining us. Our top story, a quiet investigation leads to a record fine in an animal welfare case. Today, the company that operated a beagle breeding facility in Virginia pleaded guilty to violating the Animal Welfare Act and the Clean Water Act. Senior reporter Joe DeShiel is live outside the federal courthouse in Charlottesville, where the hearing took place earlier today. So Joe, how much has the company agreed to pay? Well, Gene and Natalie, the fine itself is $22 million, but with additional commitments for fine, uh, facility upgrades and remediation, the total could top $35 million. Why did this happen? Invigo placed profit before compliance with the law. An assistant U.S. Attorney General and the U.S. Attorney for the Western District of Virginia were backed by a team of investigators. It was May of 2022 when authorities moved in and began to remove more than 4,000 beagles from the Cumberland County facility. Animal welfare organizations joined forces to find new homes for the animals. And investigators continued working to document allegations of poor veterinary care inadequate staffing, and unsafe and unsanitary conditions that led to animal injuries and deaths. The bottom line is that from at least July of 2021, members of Invigo's leadership team knew the facility was operating in violation of the Animal Welfare Act. The chief operating officer visited the facility firsthand and discussed these violations, but still they did not bring it into full compliance. The Invigo representative did not make a statement in court or after the hearing. But on its website, the company said it strives to maintain facilities that comply with all laws and regulations, and that the company has a core value to always do the right thing. That's why the company said it worked to reach this agreement. The deterrence message here is clear. The Justice Department will vigorously prosecute violations of the Animal Welfare Act and the Clean Water Act. And federal officials did not take any questions after the hearing today, Gene and Natalie. They say this investigation continues.